I'd like to introduce Ms. Julie Shea, our secretary, who will um, update us from the Dawson Youth Council. So I'm taking off my secretary hat for the moment and putting on the hat of someone who's had the, the gift and the opportunity to work with our Diocesan Youth Council for a number of years. And I want to invite, we have four presenters to come on up. And I want you to hear from them with their voices how they're learning, leading, and advocating for our diocese and for our church. It's a joy to watch their skills and their vision grow. Hello all, I'm Juliet Stewart, a member of St. Luke's Situate, St. James Cambridge, and the Diocesan Youth Council, or DYC. The DYC is a group of high school-aged Christians. We work from all around the diocese, we work to help and grow the youth presence in our beloved diocese. We are leaders and we work to share our perspectives for the church now and the future. Now, considering we are at convention, I believe that it is quite evident that we are leaders in this diocese. However, we also lead by running pre-confirmational retreats, accolade events, and Gabby and myself are actually the DYC representatives on the Diocesan Council. <laughs> DYC is a group of active and informed leaders of the diocese. As youth leaders, it is our goal to elevate the voice and presence of youth in the church, not just in the diocese, but in each of your parishes. And most of all, I think something I would be remiss to not mention is that we are so excited to work with our beloved bishop, Julia, to revise, reimagine, and expand youth ministry in our diocese. Thank you. Hi, I'm Eli Bolton of St. Anne's, North Warwick. In order to in order to develop our leaders or to develop our skills as a leader, we started testing last year with a leadership retreat. At this retreat, we got to know each other better and build our skills as leaders. We participated in many activities such as icebreakers and circles. We also talked about why our faith is important to and how we can share our stories of faith with others. We also got to take time away from our usual responsibilities and enjoy the Barbara C. Harris Camp and Conference Center. Last year, we led two pre-confirmation retreats. This was a great opportunity for us to continue to strengthen our leadership skills. We spent time facilitating small group discussions and sharing stories of our own faith journey. We also led many different icebreakers and games. In addition, these retreats usually include some great food as well as some time to sit and relax and get to know each other. Hello again, my name is Gabriella Entrican and I am part of St. James Church Amesbury. As a part of DYC, I was nominated to be a part of the official youth presence at the Episcopal Church's General Convention in Louisville, Kentucky this past summer. <laughs> As a member of OYP, I was given seat and voice in the House of Deputies. OYP was given the opportunity to speak to both the House of, bo both houses of convention, House of Deputies and the House of Bishops. I was fortunate enough to present in the House of Bishops where we got to speak to what's important to us Today, I want to share an excerpt of you to, with you to what I said in the House of Bishops. One of our missions as the official youth presence is to grow our church and create a world where all youth today, tomorrow, and beyond can thrive and continue to follow God. We are a living testament to our faith's enduring legacy and the architects of its future. OYP wasn't just on the floor at convention. We also had a lot of opportunities to let loose. One of my favorite memories is when members of OYP party hopped from the Heritage Night Celebration to the Episcopal Church Women's Celebration, where we tore up that dance floor. <laughs> if I wasn't a part of DYC, I wouldn't have had the joy of meeting these fellow church nerds and creating lifelong friendships. My name is Geneva Kelleher, and I'm from St. Peter San Pedro in Salem. 
in addition to all the ways that we are leading this diocese, we show up as leaders in other spaces. We lead groups for pre-confirmation, we help the youth at our own parishes, and we inform policy decisions. As DYC members, we have voice and vote, and we take this responsibility very seriously. We meet to discuss the process in advance of electing convention and go to meet and greets, and we meet every month to talk about this. We were also present and participated of the Consecration Eucharist last month at Trinity Poplar. Two of us are DYC representatives on the Diocesan Council. Our responsibilities include reviewing materials in advance, and we have also attended Diocesan Council retreats. As a Diocesan Youth Council, we want to have an impactful church in the future. We take advantage of every opportunity to move forward and make sure that we are informed. We are grateful to the, the, the diocese and its values, and we are also grateful for our leaders. As such, we also hope to inspire those around us and be the leaders of the future. As the gospel teaches us, people must become young children to receive God, and we have to become the light of the church, and we inspire those around us now and for the future. Thank you.